Well, hey guys, it's Michael here. As you guys probably know from one of my last videos, I just picked up a Langmuir Systems Crossfire Plasma Table. Been super happy with this CNC machine. It's been really cool to be able to program your own parts and cut them and duplicate parts. Um, and uh, this video, we're going to go into a little more detail. Last video, we just cut out a uh, aluminum little laptop stand, built that as a little project. For this video, we're going to go into a little more detail how to hook up the Titanium Plasma 45 to it. Actually, how to hook up almost any uh, plasma torch to it, as long as it's not a high-frequency start. High-frequency start will uh, definitely mess with electronics and all CNC tables. Um, so anyways, we'll get into detail on that. We'll talk about a lot more about the build quality of the machine, setting it up, and things like that. Um, we will go into a little bit of detail about um, the operating system, Mach 3, and uh, the drawing program. Fusion 360, but to go into a lot of detail on both those operating systems, those programs, we'll actually have to make a separate video for that alone. That'll come in the future about cut paths, making cut paths and tool speeds and stuff like that. Well, let's get started on this video, guys. Alright, we'll start this part. All right, so I wish I could see these are the first real cuts I've ever done on this thing, but these are about four or five different tries with different uh, cut speeds and G-code. I got these ones to turn out, and the first real parts I ever cut on this thing were actually paying parts. I was making some stuff for my work, and they were paying me for it. So, uh, yeah, we'll get started. I wish this thing was plug-and-play, and maybe it would be for some people, but for me, it's a little bit of a learning curve. All right, you guys. I'm pretty excited about this video. Inside this box right here is a CNC plasma table. This thing runs about $1,500. I got another few hundred dollars worth of accessories back here, a water table, and the XL rail package, which gives you a little more cut capacity. So if you guys wanna see what you get for a $1,500 plasma table, stick around, check it out. As I was unpackaging this, I figured something might be damaged just for the fact the package was so heavy, but everything was put together really well, nothing got damaged in shipping, and I was quite impressed looking over the parts like the red anodizing on the gantry there and the quality bearings. Good stepper motors, and the cool thing was it actually didn't come with any paper instructions to put it together, and that's fine by me, because if you go to the link below in the description, you go to the Langmuir website, and they actually give you full tutorial videos on not only how to install the whole table and put it together, but how to upload the software to it or simply go to YouTube and check that out. So it was really easy to follow along and another cool thing is all the packaging that came with about 13, 14 bags worth of hardware and all the hardware was in every single bag. It was just really well put together. All right, you guys, so I got this thing unpackaged, got the XL kit unpackaged over here and got this water table out. It did have a small dent in it, which I think I can tap out with some body tools. I don't think it's gonna be that big of a thing, but everything shipped pretty good i think this whole kit stayed really secure in here it didn't seem like anything got busted up and uh shipment and i think it's like a 150 pound box so that's good uh this thing does not come with paper instructions the website from langmuir systems crossfire actually has a whole bunch of tutorial videos from unboxing this thing to full assembly and how to upload the software into your computer to get cutting so i'm gonna save you guys some boring footage of actually um trying to bolt this thing together go look at those videos and install it and i'll bring you guys back when it's ready to start cutting at the end of the video i mentioned a promo code that'll save you guys 100 bucks on one of these tables so keep an eye out for that all right got the plasma torch here we're going to figure out which lines to tap into for the trigger so i got the bolt meter out here and there's two sets of uh long pins and one set of short pins and i checked it earlier got the voltmeter set in continuity and it's the short pins. So now we're gonna remove the top of this thing and get into it and wire up the torch controls. So again, I'm gonna reference you to the Langmuir website. Uh, they actually have quite a good tutorial on actually hooking plasma torches up to uh, these tables here and they walk you through step by step and uh, kind of how to. So uh, if you guys are interested in more on that, check it out, but it's pretty simple to hook this up. I think these are the ones I wanna go for right here. So it was very simple to hook this thing up to it. You pretty much check out the two pinouts for your uh, torch control, your trigger from the torch, and you trace that back in the plasma torch. You run their supplied wiring kit in. You just crimp them onto the existing wires, no cutting, you just crimp them on, and run the wire out of the plasma torch to their control box, and it's a uh, plug and play from there. 
So we gotta be honest with you guys, before I put this table together, I wasn't quite sure what our quality of a $1,500 CNC plasma table would be like, but actually the fitment of everything after putting it together, I felt was pretty damn good on here. One thing they did do to save money is it lacks Z access, so the torch height does not come up and down. It's all done by manual controls, like I was just setting it back there to 16 inch off the metal plate. And it's not a big problem, but the only time it can be an issue is if you have a tip up. You cut a piece of metal out and a part of it tips up. You can bump the torch into it. it can be an issue. But the Fusion 360 actually, actually has some intuitive software for a tool path where it can actually program it very easy to go around all the tip up potentials. And so there's ways to get around all that. And it's pretty good. You might have to babysit a little bit more, but it works pretty well. All right, got the plasma torch finally hooked up on here. I think it's gonna test fire, hopefully. Uh, I'm gonna go through for my first cut here. I'm gonna set this thing to go to zero. All right, now we're gonna try to fire this thing off and see what happens here. Hey, it's working, this is awesome, first cut. Yeah. going way too fast all right I realized what happened there For some reason the feed rate was set to 200 I need to slow it down to 100 here so I'm gonna reset that and see if that see if that sorts out our problem there instead of editing the g-code and going back I just slowed it down with feed rate the problem is I think it's gonna make the whole table travel to all the different directions a little slower rather than jogging quickly. So next time I program anything like this, I'll have to kind of address those parameters and uh, jog and then cut out speeds and set them differently. But we're gonna give it a try. Plasma torch is on and we're gonna start cutting here. All right, so the reason I threw this clip in here was just to show you guys, it's not really plug and play unless you're really familiar with the software. It took me a few attempts before I got it really figured out. I had the feed speed way set wrong and I had to go through and re-edit the G-code and tool paths a few times. And it seems daunting at first playing with the new programs and it seemed like, man, I'm never gonna figure this stuff out. But before you know it, you start getting the hang of it. You go through messing with the tool pass enough times, you get it sorted out pretty quick. And it's really not that bad. I would say after a week or two of playing around with the programming, you're definitely gonna get it figured out. All right, after a lot of fiddling around with this program and having some glitches, uh, I got this plate I was gonna cut and I gotta make two parts on here. This is eighth inch and I got the plasma torch set to 38 amps. All right, let's hit reset and start. All right, round two. You know, I re-edited the G-code, figured out my tool speeds, and I got them marked up on the side here for uh, cut speeds and everything. And these are some winners right here. These are actually, I'm gonna take to my work. They're buying them from me for cutting them out. And uh, they're gonna be used on this little sandblaster plate. But anyways, it's one of those things, like I only had the evenings, mainly when my family went to bed. I'm working a 40, 45 hour work week. And uh, so I only had evenings on occasion to work with this thing and figure it out. And keep in mind, it was tempting. I really wanted to get back home and work on this thing, but I got work to do and I got family to hang out with. But like I said, if you got a little bit of spare time and you can figure this stuff out, you're gonna solve these problems with the, the tool paths and all that stuff. It's really not that hard to work with. I've just never programmed on Fusion 360 or let alone any CAD program ever before. And I might do a lot of video editing and be fairly good at that. But I'm not really that savvy on computers, so if I can figure it out, I'm sure most people could. I was jogging this torch off of the table here. There's the part. And these things, I think they just have a little tab right there to knock off of them. All right, you guys, here's a few tips. So when you buy this thing, it comes with a free version of Mach 3. That's actually just the software used for to control it. And it's actually limited being free. It's limited to 500 lines of code. So what you can get out of that is you can do circles, you can do slots, you can do radius corners, and you can do straight lines, but don't plan any complex curves because that eats up code like crazy. So these brackets here, you could do within 500 lines of code, but I wouldn't expect to get much more out of it for that free software but it definitely gets you cut. There's the two parts are just cut out. That water table is pretty amazing too. It actually keeps the parts really cool.
the other tip I have for you guys is even if you can't get the table right away but you're saving up for it, you can still go to the Langmuir website and download both programs including Fusion 360 which is a drawing program. And that's going to probably take you the longest time to figure out. So you can get that download and as long as you're not a business that makes over $100,000 a year it's free for you, full version. And uh, you can do some pretty awesome stuff with that program so I'd recommend downloading that and start learning how to draw on that even if you're waiting on saving up some cash for your table. Now, this is some of my first real cuts here and I was playing around with uh, inches per minute and amperage on here and I can dial it in a little bit more but I was really impressed with the cut uh, so far on this eighth inch. I'll bring you guys in for a close up. All right, you guys, so one of the biggest things I'm really excited about this table is it unlocks precision. You can go to the computer, you can draw up a part exactly how you want it, get the holes cut out exactly where you want them. You can do hole patterns, you can do slots. I mean, we've all done slots manually before. What you can do is you can drill two holes and take an angle grinder and cut between them. Or if you got a milling machine, you can mill a slot on the milling machine. This thing you can just draw up what you want and you can cut it. And the really cool thing is if you get a part you want, you scoot it over, re-zero it, and hit cut, and you got duplicates. Duplicating a part down to a nice precise piece is pretty awesome. You can cut parts so they key together, so when you go to weld them together, they actually have little key points that hold them together. It helps with layout. I mean, there's so much. Like, I'm learning how to rethink about fabrication now by designing with this thing is you can spend a little bit of time designing it the sky's the limit you know you can think it up you can probably cut it and you can probably make it so it's a pretty rad tool and it's really going to open up the doors for fabrication for me on projects all right, you guys, I got something pretty cool. If you go down in the description of this video, uh, there's a promo code that says Mike for Steve. It's all in capitals. If you put that in on your shopping cart when you're uh, checking out with one of these tables, it'll save you a hundred bucks. It's a pretty cool thing. I used the promo code when I bought my table, and it saved me a hundred bucks, and it was pretty rad. It's affiliate link too, so keep in mind if you guys order that table through that link there and use that promo code, it uh, saves you guys a hundred bucks, and it helps me out a little bit too. It makes it a little easier to make these videos. So. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and hit like and subscribe if you did and get some more notifications of other cool projects like this one right here. This is a little sneak peek. I'm cutting out a grill for my quad truck, which would be pretty rad. I'm looking forward to getting all this stuff mounted in the next video. So hit like and subscribe guys. Until next time, take care. Now that's pretty cool. That is awesome.